Hello and uh, welcome to Science with Dr. J. Um, this is a special episode. It's not mentioned in the list of episodes that I have on the uh, YouTube channel, but uh, a few of you have asked me to explain exactly what excited me about science and which branch of science specifically and why did I choose it and why do I love it. So I made this episode and I called it Why I Love Biology. And I hope that through this episode I'll convey to you uh, the reason why biology is one of the most fascinating sciences of all the sciences there are. So, um, when I was young, I just started studying um, all the sciences, physics, biology, chemistry, geology, but uh, I was mostly fascinated by biology. Why? What intrigued me about biology in, in particular? Well, look at this image. This is a peacock. Incredible colors. Fantastic display. And yet, this living thing, this animal, like all other animals or other living things, plants, bacteria, uh, fungi, animals of all kinds, all of them are made 98% of hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. Just four elements. And three of them are gases. Hydrogen is a gas, oxygen is gas, nitrogen is gas, only carbon is a solid. And yet, out of the, all those four simple elements, we can create all life. That's mind-boggling. That is really amazing when you think about it. Just from four simple elements, you can make 98% of the body of every single living thing on the planet. When I learned that as a freshman, I simply had to be in biology because I wanted to understand how you can make these complex, amazing, fantastic, mind-blowing diversity of life on the planet, all of it, just from those four elements, I had to study that. I simply had to learn how that worked. So I particularly chose microbiology. Micro means small, which means studying biological entities where you need a microscope to see them. We call them microbes. Um, the word microbe connotates something bad, but that's not necessarily true. Actually, very, very few of microbes are bad. Most of them are very, very useful. And in fact, without them, there can be no life on the planet. The vast majority of life on the planet is actually made of microbes. And so I wanted to, which will be uh, like fungi, algae, bacteria, the archaea, viruses. All these are living organisms that you need a microscope to see, with the exception of a few algae and a few um, fungi. But generally, all of them, you need a microscope to see them. And I was completely fascinated by that field because here they are, tiny, invisible to us, and yet they are essential for all of life on the planet. And I really wanted to learn more about that. I specifically focused on the field of virology. Virology is the study of viruses. Look at this. This is a geometric shape with 20 different faces. And that's just nothing but a protein coat. And inside it is a DNA molecule. And that's what we call the herpes simplex virus. This virus can cause really serious diseases. And so I specifically put my attention on the study of this particular virus and how it causes disease. A very well-known disease that it causes is cold sores. A lot of people suffer from these cold sores. Cold sores are blisters that appear um, around the lips, sometimes the chin, and sometimes can even go to the eye and cause blindness. I was very fascinated by that. I really wanted to understand how that works, uh, which I did. I spent five years of my life working on cold sores and to find a way to minimize the damage from the virus in the cold sores. 
So I grew the virus on cells that we call HeLa cells. They are taken from uh, uh, cancer, carcinoma of cervix cancer from a woman who lived a long time ago in the 20s. Her name was Henrietta Lacks and these cells were taken from her cancer. And on these cells I grew the herpes simplex virus and I could therefore use it in doing my research. So where does this virus hide? Where does it... Because sometimes it just goes away and after a couple of months for some reason it just comes back. Well, it actually hides inside a nerve in the face here. We call it the trigeminal nerve. Trigeminal means it has three branches. One goes to the eye, one goes to the lips, and one goes to the chin, as you can see in this illustration here. And the most common one is the one that goes to the lips and causes these blisters that most people suffer from. That's what I dedicated my uh, five years of my life studying, and it was fasc fascinating. But in conjunction with that, I also studied biochemistry. What is biochemistry? It is chemistry and biology combined together. It is studying all of the chemistry that happens inside the cells of the human body or of animal cells or of plant cells or of bacterial cells or any living organism. Anything that goes on inside the cell is biochemistry. And that field is essential for the understanding of microbes and so I dedicated a big, big portion of my life studying that also. And <laughs> as you can see here, it can be, it can seem intimidating or complicated, but it's not really that bad because you don't study the whole thing at once. You take a small little tiny portion of that and study it and then someone else takes another small portion and they study it and eventually over a period of about, uh, you know, the last uh, 70 or 80 years, scientists all over the world doing research in different parts of the biochemical processes that happen inside cells, we have kind of stitch, stitched together all of the clues to come up with this excellent view of what really happens inside cells of all living things. So, um, Again, to summarize, look at these jellyfish. They are amazing creatures. And they can live long lives. They never die, actually, or some of them don't. And so, and yet, they are also made of hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen, 98%. And 2% everything else. That's amazing. That's fantastic. So, that's why I love biology. And that's why I worked in a typical lab similar to what you see here and did all of my work and research and uh, tried to discover one little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of what we know about biological science in general. So, um, without uh, taking more of your time, I would like to show you the immense and beautiful and gorgeous and amazing diversity of life on the planet and how it works. So. Here you go. Enjoy the show.
you see now you understand that's why I love biology so thank you for tuning in and uh, watching this episode I hope you enjoyed it I hope it gave you an idea about the immense diversity of life on our planet it's fascinating it's mind-blowing and I would like to share some of that excitement with you in the coming episodes I will also cover uh, a bit about uh, how living things work and uh, what they do and why things happen the way they happen um, please join me in the next episodes uh, subscribe to the channel if you can tell your friends and bye bye for now